Welcome, Neil I here from Tax TV. Uh, what a night. I hope we've all dried out. Uh, terrible weather conditions, but bounds away a win, three goals, and a clean sheet. Uh, player ratings yet again, but wow. <sighs> Urgency, I press, I tempo, right from off. We battle for everything. Uh, I think every player played a part in it, work rate. You know, from back to front, to what press down midfield, it seems to be well, we're gelling together and working as as a unit. You know, wing backs. I'm going to get onto them in a minute with with uh, ratings and stuff like that. Energy altogether, unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, like I said, from first minute right until last, can't fault any yet, lads. Uh, to be fair, terrible conditions. You know, damp wood for best part of the game, but you know. Conditions which made ball probably play a bit slicker. Uh, ref, we can get on about ref all day long, but I, you know some things. But I don't want to really concentrate about. I'm concentrate on Barnsley and our, you know, we we uh, set the stall out, how we went and approached it, and like again, you know, unbelievable, unbelievable. Um, I want to get to player ratings. And we'll we'll go through that, and we can identify some uh, key areas what what happened as well. But for me, you know, it was it was one of these where it was what when lineup got announced, it was kind of we were going to go from it. You know, we saw calling, but again, proved a lot of doubters, uh, me included in that, wrong. Um, but again, we all had a part, part to play in it. So here we go, Bands player ratings. Uh, this is from Skybet League One, Tuesday, 16th of August, Bristol Rovers. And Brad Collins, again, tricky conditions, sorted defence out and not really troubled, if I'm being honest and fair. Uh, I'm going to give him 7.4. Conditions, what he had to do, he was coming out at box well, he was organising, marshalling defence, you know, does what it says on 10 kind of thing. Like I said, I wasn't really troubled. What he had to deal with, he dealt with comfortably in, like I say, in bad conditions, you know, it was, you know, wind and that blowing about. So for me, Brad Collins, 7.4. We're going to go on to Jordan Williams. Uh, again, vast improvements up, you know, getting forward, uh, get, getting in... Uh, Right area at times, an improvement from last game, and obviously his goal, you know, being in right place at right time. Whether it had been said or worked on, I don't know about you know having a pop from outside the box. Keep mentioning conditions, but balls a bit slippery and wet. You know, could be a bit of a fumble by goalkeeper, someone to follow up, but he took his chance. He got a goal. I mean, fair play to lad, seven point seven. Again, work rate. Unbelievable, right from off. Uh, Conor McCartney came on, uh, 6.5. You know, I, I think it's always a bit hard to try and judge substitutions uh, unless we're coming and have an absolute world of a couple of goals or not like that. But again, uh, rightly so, John Williams got a, you know, an ovation as he went off. Conor McCartney, you know, ideal replacement to come on and fill, uh, fill that position. Uh, Mads, 7.4. Uh, looked better than last week in some of the positions and stuff like that. Looked organised at back as well. Uh, and again, difficult conditions. But I think the organisations coming from such as Duff and uh, getting a bit of an understanding of the back and the system, what's required to play is in ball retention. When they've not got ball, I press, get out, clear lines. And again, captain. Still, you know, getting there. But 7.4. Kundi. I thought it was a big improvement from his first start. Um, you know, when he came, he started against Plymouth away and, you know, got uh, substituted at half-time. He did what he had to do. He cleared ball, you know, no nonsense. It won't over-elaborate and, you know, it won't place to do it. It will do what you're supposed to do as a defender. Again, I thought he worked well with uh, Anderson. No nonsense defending. Get shot. I press. Put your man up. 
Priest and about a bit. A big improvement from last uh, from his last start. So Kundi, seven point four. Kitchen. Again, you know, can't fall the weight rates and stuff like that, but seven point five for kitchen. Trying to bring ball out uh, play, linking up, trying to link up well with, with Styles in that, you know, that side of uh, pitch. Again, an improvement, and I think this is starting to be a bit of an understanding like now where it was playing in front of him or at side of him or at back. It's that understanding on where he's going to be in positions. So for me, I thought 7.5. Styles, I've been one of his biggest critics this season. Styles of old, I've said. Styles of old. Uh, Look to be involved and ruin it defence. His weight rate improved uh, from the last few games I've seen this season. It impressed me in this game. His attitude, his desire. Again, an, an overall kind of performance, what we know that Styles can do. Just need to be consistent, you know. Done it against, you know, Bristol Rovers in difficult conditions. It'd be nice for him to take it on to the next game against Wickham. So, again, it's a great improvement. Great improvement because we're, you know, a lot, me included, have been saying average Styles, he don't really want to be here, he's not in it. But for me, he, I thought he did right on, on left hand side of pitch. Him and Kitchen were linking up well and then bringing it obviously into midfield and attacking. But yeah, for me, 8.2 for Styles. Vast improvement. Benson. Another deserved man at match. Performance for me. Uh, I think confidence is growing game by game. I think Duff's getting a tune out of him. I think he's understanding the qualities in Duff. Uh, Duff in Benson and deserved it, de- you know, deserved his goal, you know. Uh, three and three and last three, you can't knock that. 9.4, deservedly man at match. Uh, but, you know, all team could have got man at match for me because what we brought to the uh, table, what we did uh, put on via, again, an all round team performance. But Benson, at soft, man at match. Thomas is looking settled. Again, he's linking up well in midfield with Luke O'Connell and Benson. Confidence, you know, where he, where he has been and where he is now. Confidence got received another nasty tackle again. Put it down to conditions or not. But for me, it was a bit of a nasty tackle that. And we get on about ref, you know. Could he have done with it a bit of leniency? Do you take that into consideration? I don't know. But for me, Thomas, 8.0. And Matty Wolf again, it's hard to judge, but that's a 6.3. He came on, replaced, and he closed up shop. We we did what we had to do, kept a clean sheet, and we looked comfortable. We didn't really look tr- uh, trouble, to be fair. Luke Connell, again, 8.2. So he's, he's, he's been up there or there about, so with the, the ratings, uh, averaging round about. Dropping deep, trying to get things going and motivated. Uh, wanting ball, trying to drive forward and, you know, he's taking corners. Trying to open passes up and open passes to play up in midfield. Another game that, for me, another game that has impressed. Uh, I think it'd been a great addition to uh, side. I won't say squad, but side. He's starting more more games than he's on bench. Again, he just wanted to play football and game times can only improve and make him better. So for me, an 8.2. Can't call. I've got to admit, when I saw name on sheet, I kind of thought it might have been Norwood and Marsh, to be fair, if I'm being honest. Um, but can't call. Got got my nod. Uh, Cole and Aitchison. I'm going to give him an 8.5. Right from the start, he were up for it. I don't know what it was. Right from off. And then his goal after, what, three, four minutes from that acute angle? Again, for me, it was a good sign. It was a sign that he's wanting to, you know, probably can't call a few games ago or last season. He'd probably try to run it even more and try crossing it, but he didn't take a pop at goal and it paid off. And when you think about it, if he did pop at goal and goalkeeper had pushed it out or fumbled it in conditions, who knows, it, you know, it could have bubbled about. So, again, right from the start, impressed, pushing. Vast improvement. 
he will win the headers. He will out trying to hold up and you know play fetch of into, into it. Aitchison, Styles, Thomas, or whatever we around him, Benson, who trying what he could do. And Aiden Marsh came on in the last few minutes of the game. Again, Aiden came on and he did what he had to do. He run down, he pressed, you know, tried breaking play up. So for me, can't call 8.5. Jack Aitchison, again, 7.1. I think Aitchison closing down well. He is closing down well. He does run and run and press and press and press. Constant movement. He's trying to, you know, busy about pick up scraps and that from call. Um, but again, for me, some of the decision making at times let him down. I felt uh, he's been in Pontiac, you could see it. He, he, you know, some at times I'm thinking he could have, you know, crossed it a bit earlier, rather take it on a bit, you know, touch it too more. But again, he did what what required of him, which is either that pressing down and closing down their, their defence. I think when Norwood came on, he put us in about a bit. He, he, he came on, I think he's like old school kind of player, no disrespect to him, but he knows what it takes. He's been in this position before where we've got a lead. Um, so what? What we're just going to get him off the defence and rile him up and, you know, make sure that we know that we're in the game. We've come up against the unit. Um, dark arts, again, you know, a bit of gamesmanship, shall we say. But yeah, for me, no, I would have 6.7 um, for what I saw when he came on. Again, people watching this, please uh, leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, and share, and like I always say. But leave your comments below. What, what did you actually think of uh, my ratings? Uh, do you think that they should have been higher or lower? Again, it's my my rough view of things. Um, but can we agree or, you know, I think we all agree that Benson wore the man at match. Again, you could see that a few other players were up there or thereabouts. Thomas, Carlton Cole, uh, Williams, 7.7. You know, so uh, Styles. So there has been, you know, a big improvement. And I think you've got to put, give credit where credit's due to Duff, Devaney and Patterson. I think, you know, his backroom staff, uh, got the understanding, they've got the direction where they want to go with the fitness levels, the work rate, the the attitude. They'd never give up. You know, it's it's all going in the right direction and it's been long overdue. And like I say, fair play to everybody what what, what were there in uh, conditions. But oh, well, back under lights in a midweek game. Let's hope we can move it on to because it's going to be coming up now thick and fast. Let's hope we can move it on now to the Wiccan game on Saturday. Uh, another three pointer. I'd like to think so. Another clean sheet. I'd like to think so. Another fair few amount of goals. Yeah, I'd like to think so. So, not asking for much, are we? But uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments below. One thing left to say. You Reds.